Hello, I'm Steve G. Jones, clinical hypnotherapist. When listening to this recording, be sure to only listen to it at night when you are safe and no one and nothing will disturb you. At the end of this recording, you will be given suggestions to fall into a restful sleep. If you are under a doctor's care, you should always consult your physician before using this recording. Never play this recording in a moving vehicle. Thank you, and go ahead and get comfortable. Make sure that you are in a good position to become as relaxed as possible. Take a moment to relax your mind and body. Now, let's take three deep breaths, inhaling slowly, filling your lungs with air. And that's it. And release slowly. Exhaling slowly through your mouth. Once again, inhaling slowly. Filling your lungs with air. Very good. And release. Exhaling very slowly through your mouth. Last one. Inhaling slowly, filling your lungs with air. Good. And release, exhaling slowly through your mouth. And you should be feeling a little more relaxed and at ease. And I want you to picture yourself with the ability to fly. Imagine that you are flying over the Nile River in Egypt. Look at the water moving. You are flying toward the north and you can see the river flowing northward just like you. You enjoy your ability to fly. You glide along at different speeds and at different altitudes. You are going fast now and all you can hear is the sound of wind blowing past your ears. You fly at a lower altitude now. You can see that along the river banks, the Nile is very green and lush. The river is a major source of water and it allows a lot of vegetation to grow along the banks. Beyond the river bank, all you can see is a sandy desert for miles and miles. You swoop in a little closer and you can see the beaches along the Nile. They are white, sandy beaches. You also see many palm trees lining the river. You are a couple hundred feet above the ground. You are now a couple hundred feet above the water. You hear the sound of birds nestling in the palm trees. It is a relaxing sound. The sound of birds singing joyfully as you fly along. 
you continue to glide through the air. You see houses along the riverbank. You see areas that are more densely populated than others. You see roads and schools. You swoop across the Nile and toward the desert. You can see the Great Pyramids from a great distance. They are very small at first. And as you get closer, flying toward them, they get bigger and bigger. And you circle around them from high above. Each of the pyramids create a point which points toward the sky from the angle of the sun each face of the pyramids appears to be a different shade of brown the pyramids are massive as you fly closer to them and you ponder how they were built so many years ago, you slow down a little bit and reach your hand out to touch a pyramid. Your fingertips brush against the rough surface you feel fortunate to be able to visit the pyramids by flying over them. You take a deep breath and smell the fresh air. You are enjoying your trip, flying over the Nile and seeing the great pyramids. This experience has relaxed you and you continue to fly. You focus on relaxing your entire body. You put your head down so that it is facing the ground. You make sure that your spine and neck are straight and create one long line. You loosen your arms and hands next to your body. You continue to soar and relax as you do. You're just doing these things in your mind. You stretch out your legs, making them feel long, lean, and loose. You look down and see the desert below. See the detail now in the desert. Notice the sand. Notice the people walking around and you ponder for a moment. Thinking about what they might be doing realizing that most of them are just going about their lives, doing what they do every day. And you think about that for a moment. How wonderful it is to be experiencing this right now in your mind. And you think about where they might be going or what they might be doing you notice their clothes, 
the different colors of their clothes. And there are some camels. Notice them. Notice that some people are riding on top of the camels. Notice they have fabric draped over the camels. This fabric is of different colors. Blue, yellow, red, and other colors. Notice the texture of the fabric. It's so wonderful to be able to observe all this as you fly overhead. Noticing certain things about the land and the people and the animals and the structures below. And you notice where the wind has created ripples in the sand. The sand is a light orange. And you can see the different areas below. Some areas are flat. And some are hilly. Notice the differences. Notice the contrasts. Notice the beauty. Everything just works together to create a beautiful picture which you can enjoy and you continue to relax your body now. It is weightless and loose. And you point and relax your feet and toes. That's right. Pointing them outward. And then relaxing them. And then repeating this. Stretching your toes as far as you can. And then relaxing them. You feel a little more relaxed now. That's right. You let your feet hang loosely from your ankles. So relaxing. Your entire body is at ease. Your mind feels uncluttered and free. You enjoy soaring through Egypt. Flying is a wonderful feeling. Take a moment now to just fly along and notice the sky. It's a beautiful day. Only a few clouds in the sky. The temperature is just right. The wind you are creating by flying, together with the heat of the sun, create the most wonderful feeling on your skin, the perfect temperature. You fly high into the sky now, Everything looks small below. You look down and you see the Nile. You see the pyramids. And you can barely see the people and the houses and the animals. Everything looks small now as you fly high into the sky and relax. And as you drift down slowly now, allow yourself to relax even more, just enjoying the freedom that you have, the freedom you have to fly here now and enjoy this beautiful day. 
and the wonderful, amazing things you can see in this ancient land. It's so relaxing for you to be here right now. So relax a little more deeply now. That's right. Realizing how relaxed you are and how enjoyable it is to fly. As you continue flying in the sky, high above Egypt, you are relaxed and at ease, just enjoying the feeling of flying. And in just a few moments, you will very slowly and safely descend to the ground and you will do this as I count from 10 to 1, so that by the time I reach the number 1, you will have landed safely on the ground. Because with each number I count, you soar a little lower and you relax a little more deeply, so that by the time I reach the number 1, you will have drifted safely to the ground and you will be completely relaxed. All right now, 10, enjoying the sensation of flying and flying a little lower now as you relax a little more deeply now, nine, down, down, deeper, and deeper, relaxing as you go, eight, down, down, drifting, floating, relaxing, enjoying the sensation of flying, feeling the wind blowing through your hair, blowing across your body, relaxing you as you soar along and relax even more deeply now. Down, 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 drifting down safely, imagining yourself flying a little lower and relaxing a little more deeply with each and every moment now that passes. Seven, down a little deeper now. So very, very relaxed as you just drift in your mind and drift downward while you are flying, drifting down very safely and gently still enjoying the view, enjoying seeing the houses below, the pyramids below, the people, the animals, and the beautiful Nile River. Six, drifting down, 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 relaxing more, and more, so very relaxed, so very at ease now, as you just allow yourself to float a little lower now, 
That's right. Good. Drifting down. Five. Getting closer and closer to the ground now. And you are very safe and relaxed. You are also relaxing your mind. Slowing down. A little more with each passing moment. Four. Down, down, down. You can now see structures very clearly. And you can see people's faces. You can make out details on the buildings. You are relaxed and at ease and just drifting down. So very very calm and safe and protected as you allow yourself to drift down so relaxed as you go three down a little lower now drifting relaxing allowing yourself to go down down, down, and relax more and more, feeling so comfortable as you glide gently down to almost on the ground now. Enjoying your last few moments of soaring along, gliding. That's right. And at the count of the next number, you will be on the ground, safe and relaxed. All right now. One, landing gently on your feet on the ground. You are safe and relaxed and so very, very peaceful now as you continue to relax deeper and deeper and more deeply relaxed. And as you continue relaxing and drifting and floating peacefully and completely, feel and see yourself becoming more confident, choosing to be and feel attractive desirable and irresistible. You find yourself connecting with everyone you meet easily and effortlessly. This happens because you are self-confident. You are self-assured You are secure and clearly irresistible. Now imagine the perfect mate, perfect for you. And I would like you to focus on different qualities they have qualities which you would admire in your perfect mate.
take a moment and just imagine what their hair would look like. Good. Now, take a moment and imagine seeing the eyes of your perfect mate. What would their eyes look like? Good. Now, imagine seeing the body of your perfect mate. What would their body look like? Good. Now I would like you to imagine the laugh of your perfect mate. Imagine what their laugh would sound like. Good. Now I would like you to imagine hearing the voice of your perfect mate. Just hear them talking. What would their voice sound like? Good. Now I want you to imagine tuning in to the philosophy of your perfect mate. What is their philosophy about life? Imagine 
tuning into that now. Good. Now I want you to imagine the different interests that your perfect mate will have. What sort of hobbies would they have? What would they be into? What would they like to do? Where would they like to go? Imagine the interests of your perfect mate now. Good. And now I want you to see your perfect mate. That's right. See them in their entirety, inside and out. Imagine seeing them. Good. And now, feel how good it feels to be with your perfect mate. Just take a moment and imagine spending time with this person. Feel how good it feels to be with them. Good. And you realize that you will accept them into your life. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve to be able to give and receive love. And you understand that you are open to receiving your perfect mate into your life. And now you know 
that you are open to receiving your perfect mate into your life. You are open to receiving your perfect mate into your life. Now you realize that in order to attract your perfect mate to you, you should have certain desirable attributes, qualities about yourself, which when noticed by your perfect mate, will be attractive to them. you realize it is important to bring forth good qualities from deep down inside you. All of the qualities I am about to name you already have. And you realize now it is important to show those qualities and to develop them fully so that you can be as attractive as possible to your ideal mate. So as I mention each quality, I want you to take a few moments and just think about how you can develop that quality in yourself to make yourself more attractive. This will help you attract your ideal mate and it will also help you to feel better about yourself, to live a richer and happier life. All right now, one quality which you can bring forth from yourself and develop even more is the quality of being considerate. Think for a few moments about different ways that you can be considerate. Good. Another quality which you will want to develop in yourself is a sense of humor. Certainly, you have your own particular sense of humor. There are things which you find funny. There are things which make you laugh. Having a sense of humor and laughing freely and enjoying a good time, these are all wonderful qualities to have. So think now about how you can more fully develop your sense of humor.
Good. Another quality which you will want to develop is your knowledge. People are attracted to people who are knowledgeable. Certainly you have many interests. In the next few moments, I want you to think about all of your various interests and think about how you can become more knowledgeable about each of them, whether by reading about them or experiencing them or by talking about those interests with others. Think for a few moments about how you can become more knowledgeable in your areas of interest. Good. Another quality which attracts others is the ability to speak well. This means speaking clearly, having a large vocabulary, and speaking at a volume which is pleasing to others, which means not too loudly or too softly, but at an audible volume which is pleasant, talking clearly, enunciating, so that other people can understand what you are saying, and speaking about interesting things, which you will have plenty of knowledge about soon. So for the next few moments, just think about steps you can take, which will allow you to speak well. Good. Another quality which people admire is confidence. Above all else, you must develop your confidence when you are attracting your perfect mate. Confidence is more important than any of the other qualities. Confidence is very easy to have. It comes from honesty being honest about who you are, what you stand for, what your interests are, the future you have decided upon for yourself. Confidence comes also from expressing yourself from a place of having a full belief in yourself, in who you are, in what you are doing. So think for the next few moments about developing your confidence and this means thinking about ways that you can really get in touch with who you are and what you want to do in life and how you can share that with others. Good. Another quality which will help you attract your perfect mate is dressing well. Now certainly you have your own style. It is important that you follow your own style when dressing well. Rather than looking around and seeing what others are wearing, think about what you would like to wear and think about dressing according to your feelings, but doing it well. This means following your heart as a guide. If you choose to wear a business suit, that's fine if that's what you want. If you choose to dress casually, that's fine if that's what you want. You decide how you want to portray yourself to the world but you do it in a very confident way. You wear it well, as they say. So think for a moment about your style and how you can dress well by dressing the way you want to dress and being confident about it.
Good. One of the important things about attracting your perfect mate is being in good health. Part of being in good health is eating well. This means eliminating foods from your diet which are ineffective. Fatty foods, junk foods, things of this nature should be eliminated or greatly reduced in your diet. Instead, you should be drawn to vegetables, fruits, and if you eat meat, lean meats, that's right, and plenty of water. So think for a few moments about how you can eat well by making appropriate food choices. Very good. And along the lines of having good health comes a dedication you must make to yourself. A dedication of regular exercise. This will allow you to stay in shape and to be attractive to your ideal mate. So think for a few moments about exercises you can do. If you're already exercising, just think about those exercises you already do. And if you need to increase your workout, think about how you can increase your workout so that you can allow your body to be in perfect shape. Good. And as a wonderful, powerful, beautiful person, you will want to take good care of yourself. This means you will have proper hygiene, bathing or showering regularly, brushing your teeth regularly, also taking proper care of your hair and fingernails and toenails and your skin. So for the next few moments, just think about ways in which you can improve your hygiene so that you will be attractive to your ideal mate. Good. Now, another very important thing which you can do for yourself, which will make you attractive to your ideal mate is respect yourself. You must respect yourself. You must respect who you are, what you stand for, and where you are going. Sometimes when we analyze ourselves, we find that we must adjust our course in life to bring our life more into alignment with who we really are. If you need to make any changes in your life so that you can respect yourself, think about those changes now. Good. And now I want you to imagine yourself 
six months in the future, having made appropriate changes in your life, you have changed your way of doing things so that you can feel better about who you are. You respect yourself, you are considerate, you have a wonderful sense of humor, you have developed your knowledge in your areas of interest, you dress well, you take care of yourself. So I want you to take a few moments and see yourself six months from now as a wonderful, powerful, beautiful person who is very attractive. Now I want you to imagine yourself one year from now. See yourself as a very powerful, attractive, wonderful person. It has been a wonderful year. Perhaps you have already attracted to you your ideal mate. You are a very attractive person. Perhaps, if it was your intention, you have attracted many to you. Whatever your goals were, you have met them easily because you took the simple steps to take care of yourself and become a more attractive person. You are more attractive to yourself and others. So take a few moments and imagine yourself one year from now as a powerful, beautiful, amazing love magnet. Good. And as you continue relaxing, you are drifting deeper and deeper, realizing a wonderful future is ahead of you, and you love the idea that you can act as a magnet to attract into your life that person or those people you desire. So relax and realize that everything is going to be just fine. And as you continue to relax, every breath you take is soothing, soothing you. Focus now on your breathing. I wonder how much attention you have paid to the many different thoughts floating through your mind. Your mind is so active even while it relaxes. And then you can become aware of how difficult it is to remember what I was talking about exactly seven minutes ago. And you can try to remember what I was saying nine minutes ago. Or 
what you were thinking four minutes ago. But doesn't it seem like too much work to try to remember all of that? It takes more effort than it's worth. So relax. Relax comfortably and understand that you don't have to remember what I was saying when it's too much work to do. You can choose to remember to forget what I said or to forget to remember what I said. The choice is yours. Now, if you should be listening to this recording at night, you will fall into a deep and very peaceful sleep. And while you are asleep and dreaming, understand that your subconscious mind will be processing every word I have said. And each time you hear these words, these suggestions become more and more powerful for you. Each and every time you listen to these words, These suggestions become more and more a part of your being. Each and every time you listen to this recording, you become more and more the person of your choosing, a relaxed, comfortable, confident person and that feels wonderful and when you awaken in the morning you will be well rested refreshed, revitalized, and ready for a new day. And that feels wonderful.